welcome! In this video, I'm going to talk about evenly spacing decreases. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Evenly spacing decreases differs when you are working in the round versus flat. When working flat, you need to remember that you have two edges that you need to keep clear of any decreases. We're essentially calculating the number of spaces represented by stitches in between each decrease. So when working flat, you will have one extra space to calculate. Each decrease, if it's a single decrease, will involve two stitches. So you need to subtract the stitches that will be involved in all of the decreases from your total stitch count. Here I have 43 stitches, and if I need to decrease by three stitches evenly across, knitting flat. Each decrease will be using two stitches, therefore I need to subtract six stitches from my stitch count total. So 43 minus 6 is 37, and those number of stitches need to be divided by 4 because that is the number of spaces that I will have in the knitting. 37 divided by 4 is 9 and a little bit. Three of the spaces will be 9 stitches and one will be 10 stitches. I would place the 10 stitches in one of these two spots and keep the sides an equal number. So I'd work 9 stitches, knit 2 together, work 9 stitches, knit 2 together, work 10 stitches, knit 2 together, and work the final 9. Similar to evenly spacing increases, I may want the spaces on the ends to be a little bit smaller. In which case, decide where and how close to the edge you want those decreases. Let's say I want my edge decreases, three stitches, and then a decrease. I'll place a marker five stitches in. So these two stitches will be taken up with the decrease, and these two will as well. So ten stitches, five and five, should be removed from my stitch count total of 43. That leaves 33. One decrease remains. So remove two stitches from the 33 leaving 31. 31 divided by 2, because there are two spaces left, doesn't divide evenly. 31 divided by 2 is 15 and a little bit. So one space will be 15 and one space will be 16. If I count 15 stitches over and place a marker, these next two stitches will be involved in the decrease, and there should be 16 stitches left. Therefore, I will knit 3 knit two together, or whatever single decrease I'm using, knit 15, knit two together, knit 16, knit two together, knit three at the end. If, however, I'm working in the round and I need to place three decreases evenly spaced, I have 43 stitches. I still need to subtract the six stitches that will be involved in the decreases, two per decrease. 43 minus six is 37. But now I will only have three spaces in the knitting between those decreases. 37 divided by 3 is 12 and a little bit. So two of the spaces will be 12 and one of the spaces will be 13. I'll work 12 across, knit two together, work 12, knit two together, work 13, knit two together at the end. So that was evenly spacing decreases. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.